Hi everybody, Susan Sanford from Vineyard Complementary Medicine. Today I'm going to be talking about how to do some trigger point release on yourself at home with some simple tools, which would be, I've got tennis balls here. You can also use lacrosse balls. Uh, my favorite way to do it, the best way to do it, I like to have three tennis balls. Um, so that will be our tools that we use tonight. I want to thank uh, Chris Martin for actually getting the balls and I want to thank uh, Airport Fitness for supplying um, the tennis balls for tonight. So I'm going to go over, starting at the bottom and working my our way up, I'm going to go through and, and show you how to activate the muscles first and then to really go in a little bit deeper for the trigger point release. The main intention of this is to relieve pain, relieve tightness in the muscles um, by increasing the blood flow. Um, you know, blood is, blood is warmth, blood is nourishment. So whenever you can increase the flow of blood to your tissues and your muscles, then you're gonna, they're gonna be happier um, and they will heal. Um, one thing that I like to tell people is you don't wanna do it too hard. So it should, it might not feel good, but you should know that it's good for you. So keeping the intensity to, you know, a five or below, um, it shouldn't be causing you to kind of tense up. Um, and then the other disclaimer is if you have had, a, you know, an injury or perpetual problem that is undiagnosed, then I encourage you to go seek, um, you know, seek advice and consultation from a physical therapist or your healthcare practitioner. All right, so tennis ball, the single one, and I've got my daughter's Bob Ross sock here. And what I like to um, you know do is put what I call two tennis balls in a sock, and that's a, just a great a great tool. They stay together; they don't go, they don't run amok. And let's start with the single ball, starting feet. I am on a stool right now. This is probably going to be this is a nice way to start but um, obviously you can do it on the floor as well. Whenever you do it on a cushion surface, um, I'm, I actually have my treatment table here, um, versus on the floor on a harder surface, it's gonna be way more intense on a harder surface. So um, if you wanna just try it out, get, you know, get a cushion area to just start out a little more gently, and then as you progress, and if you feel like you want a little bit more, then you can progress to a harder surface. So starting with the tennis ball on the, on the foot, what we like to do is outline your foot into three parts. You know, the outer part, the middle, and then the inner part. And just work the ball and stroke it along the outer part of the foot. Then work your way to the inner part of the foot, nice and slow. My feet have pretty high arches, so my feet are really tight. So I actually need to, to, to kind of break things up a little bit. If you've got flatter feet, then you wanna just be a little gentler. Um, on your intensity and then working my way into my arch. One thing I really like to do is integrating some um, acupuncture in, Ch in uh, Chinese medicine into the trigger point releases because a lot of the trigger points are associated with really important um, acupuncture points. Well, kidney one, which is like the most grounding point, is right at the bottom of your foot. So it's right there, right? If you divide your foot into thirds, it's really that deep part right in the center of the foot here. And what I like to do is just really apply some pressure. It's really grounding. It really kind of helps, um, you know, kind of get your feet on the ground. And just really just kind of work that and just feel it and just really loosen it up. Okay, so that's the foot. Outer, middle, inner. You know, work it to whatever intensity feels really good for you. You know your body better than anyone. So just go with the intensity that feels the best. And then really kind of work that, kind of do little baby circles with the kidney one. Moving on up, now we're gonna do the two tennis balls in a sock. I like to use this, there's a, another tool called the Rolga. This simulates um, that. It's basically a roller that has a little indentation in it, and that's what this mimics. And this is really nice to do on your calf. Ooh, I lost my tennis ball. We're gonna need that. All right, so start on your Achilles, right at the bottom, and just roll it. So the Achilles, I like to do it, like, I like to break my calf up into three sections. So you got the lower section of the Achilles. Then come up, you get the little bit meatier part. And the two tennis balls in a sock is nice. It's a little gentler. Um, and what you're doing is you're really activating. Think of this as an activation. You're kind of bringing gentle blood flow to the, to the, um, to the muscle. 
And you're really preparing it for the deeper release that you're going to get with the single ball. So do the middle. Um, there's different, you know, you can just, I'm doing it pretty evenly. There's other, some, you know, you can incorporate kind of like just kind of, you know, a little bit quicker, like pushing away and then rolling back. Um, just do whatever feels comfortable to you. And then working at the top of the calf. Avoid doing it right directly behind the knee. You really don't want to do any trigger point or any um, activation um, in the joints itself. You want to get in the meteor part. You can then move to the side right along your peroneals. So just put it right in the groove there and just really work the outer part of your lower leg. And then for the front, you could go on your stomach. There's so much bone in there that really to activate it, this is really enough to just roll it. Roll it all the way down, get your ankle, get the top of your foot. Not a lot of meat there, so you don't really need to do too, too much. Um, if you're a runner and you really need to break up your shins, if you've got really tight shins, um, then you can go on your stomach. Let's see if I can do a little demo here on your hands and knees. And put the two tennis balls in a sock underneath it and then just roll it. You don't have to put a ton of weight through it. Just work it. Moving on up to the hamstrings. So on the lower leg and the lower feet and the calves and the outer, two tennis balls and a sock works great. Come up to the hamstrings now. Work the hamstring. This on a cushion, this because it's a little, well, at least on me, it's a little more meaty. You might want to go on the floor just to really get the effects of it. I like to start in the back and then just slowly work my way to the side to the IT band. This is where people are usually used to working, um, rolling out with their IT bands. Stay away from the joint, stay away from the bones, activate it first, so really get the, get the juices flowing. Ooh, that feels so good. And then when you feel like you've warmed up enough, then you can go in a little harder. There's a couple points. Um, stay away from the sciatic nerve. If it feels weird, it is weird, so stay away from it. I got a point right here on the, uh, right above my knee kind of the junction where my IT band meets my hamstring. It's a notoriously awesome spot to release. And what I like to do, and on these ones, you can kind of go in, go in a little harder, work it. I like to do it for about three breaths. So kind of go in hard, find the spot, no more than a five or a six, three deep breaths, kind of go in hard and then get out quick and then move on and move on up. There's another good one three breaths, and then move on, and then you work your way up again, staying away from the bone. You can turn over if you want to work your quads. Same thing like the shin. And then you can just do some rolling, activate the quads. Move it around. The outer part is usually pretty intense. And this feels actually really good. And then if you want to go in a little bit harder, then you can take the ball and then you can just do single trigger, trigger point release along your quad. As far as your glutes go, well, let's do Let's continue to do some two, two tennis balls in a sock. You can work your way up to the glutes. All right. So a couple different muscles in here. Just go for, go for the meaty part. Find the tender spots and work it. So you got your piriformis. You can kind of like roll it out. So I've got it angled out a little bit along the muscle belly. And just work it on an angle. Work it, work it, activate it. And then what we'll do is we'll use, we'll wait for the single trigger point release until I stand up and go to the wall. So for now, we're just going to do two tennis balls in a sock for the glutes, work your way to the sacrum. Sacrum is, is the triangle shaped bone at the bottom of your spine where the tailbone attaches to. So I like to sit right on the two tennis balls in a sock, unweight myself as much, or unweight yourself as much as you need to, and then just roll it. Start at the tailbone and just kind of rock it back and forth. 
And then just work your way up along the side. The two tennis balls in a sock really sits nicely on the borders of the sacrum. And it just feels really, really good. All right, and then you work your way up. You can work your way to your lower back. Okay, so right over where the sacrum meets your lower back, you can work that there. And then this is really great for along your spine. So then you set the balls right along your spine and then just roll it and do it in sections. Sometimes you might adjust yourself. Awesome. That means you really needed it. And now I'm in between my shoulder blades and working it. Try not to get your hair stuck in there. Oh, it feels so good. Really great to do. Again, integrating some Chinese medicine. The points for your organs are accessed along your spine. So to integrate some Chinese medicine concepts to really balance out and to bring your organs into harmony from, you know, with a physical modality, balancing out the, the points that are along each um, segment of your spine is a really nice way to balance out your organs um, using physical modalities. All right, I'm gonna take you over to the wall now. Last but not least. All right, balls against the wall. Start it at the bottom. All right, so get your, get your ball against the wall and then work those glutes. I like to roll it side to side. And you'll know, like I'm working my piriformis now. We don't have to have an anatomy lesson. It goes across here. If it really kills, chances are you're on your piriformis. All right, work it up and down, do your glutes. If you are so exceptionally tender along here, then that means your back is probably a little dysfunctional and you probably need to do some, some lower back exercises. You can watch our other videos for that. Um, because tightness in your glutes really correlates with dysfunction in your lower back. So make sure your back is open and mobile. And then I'm gonna just hang out here on my glute med. Oh, three deep breaths, going hard, no more than a six and then release and just find all those crazy spots. A true trigger point is a tender spot that will refer to other parts of your body, typically within the, within the general vicinity. So that's a true definition of a trigger point. And just work it good, okay? Then you're gonna work up to the upper back muscles. So I'm gonna put this behind here, my rhomboids and my lower traps and then you just kind of work it. There's lots of knots back there. We've all been sitting on our computers and then going and doing yard work. So these guys really need some good releasing. Again, if you've got some exquisite tenderness in these muscles up in the, your upper traps and in your upper back, then you might have some neck dysfunction and get that worked out too. All right, so work it. You can work the back of your shoulder. So right in through here, you got your teres. I like to roll that out, roll it, and then kind of like find the tender spot and then just sit on it. Oh, that feels good. Coming up to the upper trap. Your upper trap is here. You got your first rib. It's nice to kind of put the ball in here and just kind of roll it, roll it around, and then you can kind of press it. And then as you press it, move it along too. Move it. Find the tender spots. Oh, that's a good one right there. And then to finish, what might be nice is to take the two tennis balls in a sock and then just lie on it and then just rest it right at the base of your skull. Do some breathing techniques, do some relaxation, kind of let your body acclimate to all the work that you've done. Drink some water. Um, and then you're good to go. It's a pretty balanced, nice thing. So three tennis balls, two tennis balls in a sock, plus the going hard and get out quick one. Activate them, activate, get the juices flowing, and then do some releasing on the actual muscle. Um, and then drink plenty of water. So if, if, you wanna, if you're on the island and you want some access to some tennis balls, if you don't have any, um, at Vineyard Complementary Medicine at our office at the Triangle in Edgartown, uh, right next to the post office. I'm going to leave a bucket of balls right outside our main entrance. So feel free to come by and get them. And, um, and then happy trigger point releasing. Susan Sanford from Vineyard Complementary Medicine. Have a great night.